Brian here on the Muskegon Channel. I'm Andy O'Reilly. There's Dave Cackley. Welcome to Friday. Talk about burnout. Oh, God. I'm uh, I I. You remember? Do you remember the, look the cartoons when the car would get to the burnout thing and we go, yeah, like that. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's what I feel like. So, dance, monkey. Yeah, I say I add my Thursday. My Thursday is always the the toughest day. Once I get to Friday, I can kind of exhale. Yeah, because yeah, you know, I got I got you know triple duty between you know traffic stuff, radio, TV, this, and then uh, knocking out countertops, and then we get a stock truck delivered, and I'm unloading by hand. You know, a literal ton of countertops. So, you know, you get to, it's you get through that, and then I have a, a light day today. Today's nice. very light. Well, I wish so, I had the same. My once day I'm done here, light. I'm done. Wow. So. Wow. Look at you. Thank God. Off to a weekend full of excess. And... I found another dollar, though, so oh. I can... I'm going to get... Blood on that get, dollar? Uh, I'm gonna I go, see something oh. red on it? Oh, yeah. It was a, that, was a gum, that was a gummy bear. A gummy bear? Like an old gummy bear. I, yeah, I get Tic Tac. I put all sorts of things in there. I'll put Tic Tacs. Uh, because you don't want to carry around a packet of Tic Tacs because it, it moves around and it's just sound, you know, you, you don't want to sound like you have Tic Tacs in your pocket. Why not? But you put, just because it's it's one of those things that you sound like you're rattling because they're just so loud. People find that to be annoying. So when I have Tic Tacs, I will take some out, put them in my hand and either put them in my pocket or put them in my wallet. Yeah. I don't um, know why the gummies were. I like, that's just, I, I have no idea. I got a pretty good idea why the gummies are in there. What? Because your Friday is going to be light. Oh, no, that's not. Okay, it's not that kind of gun. Okay, wait a minute. That's a, those ones are different. And those are those are for nappy. Those are for, you know, to get me off into nappy time. Or sleep time, whatever. You know. uh, I got to figure out yesterday's Jeopardy here. Hang on, minus 400. Oh, good. You're right where you started at the uh, beginning of the week. Good. So I so, feel like so I feel like I'm making progress. I yeah, I, I no, I, none I, whatsoever. I, I took care of that. No, week. but it's weird for uh, for for all of the financial drain on me this week. Due to my own my own idiocy for getting okay. the payment, well, and then I had some up, other things. Took it like a man, you know. You had a big time that, insurance guy, but other than that, did big time anybody. Fortunately, I didn't have to pay the extra penalty, so I'm okay. I'm okay. It was just, okay. it was like, good lord, just got it done, and it's out of my head. And having right. to deal with something stupid like that for four days was. Don't those gummies get a little mushy in your pocket when they get all warm? <laughs> You're driving around sitting on a gummy bear. Doesn't it kind of flatten uh, out? I mean, doesn't? I... Well, then it's fine. It's still, it, it's still candy. At the end of the day, I mean, dude, you're not going to turn your, you're not going to, you of all people are not going to turn your nose up. Let me tell you something, though. Here's the difference between you and me. Fruit. If it's a gummy bear, it doesn't stick around long enough to be warmed up. Uh, of course. Or a gummy worm or gummy mm. sours or gummy anything. I eat them. I mean, right. I've never met a gummy worm I didn't eat. Uh, yeah, I, I I tend to put those off. Like, yeah. oh, I have it. So, if I, then I can toss one back and that's fine in case, but I, in case I don't you end like... up like the golden child sitting in a cage with nothing but a leaf yes to eat for, for exactly then i have that yeah i have some sustenance well good for you that's very it's very important in case i ever become caged you never know well i am one crazy likes, times man i like i'm i'm one that likes happen. cage free dave that's what i like. oh there you go yeah you you prefer me yes free roaming dave right <laughs> right free roaming <laughs> Are you going to do news? Yeah, why not? I'm going to try and find three minutes of sleep here or there, wherever I can okay. today. So let's right, hop be- to it. Best of luck. <laughs> student loan rates are set to reach a 16-year high. The interest rate on a federal student loan for an undergrad is expected to climb to 6.5% in July. That's the highest since 2008. We've said this before. Not everybody needs to go to college. I mean, no. we're, we're encouraging Max in that area because it does give you a bit of a leg up in, in some professions, but it's just not what it used to be. You don't, I mean, there are there are so many other avenues you can use. You can get a great education online, to be honest with you. If you're if you're willing to put in the work and the effort and, and, and you want it, you can get it. 
and the same with a lot of professions. But uh, you yeah, get trade schools, yeah. boom. Nothing. Be an electrician. Be a plumber. There, there are some skilled trades that are high paying. They uh, in their careers, they're real. They're not just jobs. They're careers. So yeah. that's that's another route to go as well. So you don't have to. You, you don't want to get sad. Trust me, as someone who was saddled with this for a quarter, a literal quarter century, you you don't want to have to deal with that if you don't have to. Right. There you go. There you go. Thank you. Sage words of wisdom. Uh, I do what I can. Moving on. Ultra processed foods could increase your risk of early death slightly. This according to a new study, uh, ready to eat meats and artificially sweetened beverages are associated with a small increase in early mortality, according to the Harvard School of Public Health. Uh, processed food consumption is associated with about a 4% increase in early death. All things in moderation. You know, I tend to eat, I eat too much processed food. I, but you know, we all do. And you got to mitigate that by being active, exercise and doing other things, you know, taking vitamins, doing all that shit. So, you know, so then you can, you can uh, occasionally enjoy your salami sandwich at nine in the morning. Like I like to, I, you know? a salami sandwich once, a, you know, I did salami really well until I read the ingredients one day and it just said beef heart. I was like, mm. who cares? It I, still tastes good. It does. Um, I have to put that one out of my mind. I can't do liverwurst anymore or Braunschweiger. I used to like that when I was a See, kid. That, those now, are two, the, the, yeah. now it just makes me want to cringe. I don't um, like the sound of those. I don't like the looks of those, so I don't eat them. I like the look of a, a salami meat looks good. And then and I've argued with this. Max and I get into this argument about what you put on it because he's a, he's a mustard guy. I yep. switched. I will do mustard, but I've switched to ranch. No. Little ranch on salami. No. Oh my God, that's no. good. Nope, nope, nope. Impossible. Max hates it, although he loves ranch, but he won't try it. I'm like, dude, you got to try this. He no. he refuses to try. I don't blame him. He's you're wrong. No, I, no. You, have you, you have tried? Me, your... Have you tried a salami with ranch dressing? No. Then you then you cannot speak to this. I just spoke. I have spoken. I have put the foot down, wrong. and your son is right. You were wrong. No, we're gonna you're check you into wrong. a funny farm. You're both because... ignorant. You're you have drunk. not. Uh, no. First of all, and that would be, by the way, uh, dude, I, me, I think that should be served shut up bar, a minute. Let me, that's let good me just, bar food. Let me just correct you and Ew. be king of the mountain for a second. Oh, jeez. Ranch ahead. is the most bland, boring thing that you can put on anything. You are <sighs> such vanilla, uh, white, wonder bread, everything. We, we got to straighten you out. Seriously. No. Your ketchup on hamburgers, your yeah, ketchup mustard on hamburgers. hot dogs. You've got the yes, taste buds of yes. a five year old. That's it. You, 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 we got to grow you up. You do mustard no, on don't. salami, or no, hey, mustard's fine. Uh, Ranch is better. The king is speaking. Thank you. You, a safe punt with salami, is a slice of cheese, a couple pieces of salami, fifteen seconds in the microwave. That's that's a safe bet. That's a nope. safe substitution for mustard. Other than that, yep. you're you're really treading on thin ice. And to walk into ranch territory, ranch with is great. Salami. Now you're playing for the pink ranch, team. No. Yep. First of all, ranch is great on everything. Nope. There's very there are very few. I I've had ranch on my I I'll dip my fries in ranch. Of course. Ranch is I ranch when it comes to dressing. Ranch is the only dressing that matters. Ranch it's the only one that matters. Ranch Period. is blasé. Ranch is for um, people who ate paste in school. Um, let me. You if you want dressing, let me. T trust me, I know what I'm talking about here. Who's the fat one? Okay. Okay. Yeah. We're gonna yeah, go okay, with so blue cheese or Roquefort. Gross. For no. Oh yeah. You're yeah. Out of There's your, big you're chunks out of your blue mind. cheese. You probably in there. use horseradish. Oh. You use hor You put horseradish Dude, on shit, don't you? I eat horseradish by the spoonful. Oh my god! Why does that not shock me? Oh, it's so Holy good. Holy cow! What the I hell is I will literally wrong with you? get a teaspoon out and scoop it out and eat horseradish just like just like that, with pride. And you wonder why you had to have a, a, a giant chunk of your intestines removed. Well, See, let me it was tell the you horseradish that did it. It had nothing to do with horseradish. It, it was, was the horseradish. I'm no medical ranch. doctor. Can I I'm get some chicken you. nuggets with ranch? Damn Skippy. Chicken no. nuggets and ranch go great, too. No, they don't. No. 100%. Here are all the... 
all the top, the all the condiments and the dressings that matter: ranch, ketchup, mustard, and there's one uh, no barbecue sauce. Yep, you you need that. Okay, and the only other topping you need. There's Is only what? one other topping you need. What's that? I'm blanking on it right now. I got because because I, I feel like I've already it. listed too many. Here's what I you think. Need. I'm a, oh no no a Tabasco Tabasco for your scrambled eggs. That's good. No, you need ketchup. And that's on it. Those. No, you don't put ketchup. Oh no, you Listen. put ketchup on steak. No. Here, a nice here's steak what you with need. ketchup. Okay, you need some soy sauce. Get so get your soy shit. Okay, don't. I don't you want need, that anywhere near my table. Throw that listen. off along with it's a your, Parmesan cheese. Listen, the the grown ups are talking. You need some soy sauce. You need some Worcestershire sauce. No. You're going to have to have some Heinz 57 around because that's super yummy. No. Um, ketchup, mustard, all that, fine. Mustard should be the brown mustard with some stone No. Brown. Oh, yeah. No, it's French is yellow. You don't put brown mustard on. Oh, you're what is wrong, wrong with you? Dude. What the hell is wrong with when Sparta? When did you get dropped on your that's head? That's how you learned. Seriously. That's how you learned all this shit. I'm telling Back you. Back in your... Oh, as far God. as we're going with salad dressings, Blue cheese, big chunks. Blue cheese is And gross. you should pick the chunks out and eat them before you eat like the blue. The idea of blue cheese is disgusting. Blue cheese rules. Oh, Lord. Up yours. I did not see this coming. I well, did not see your, your I, I eat horseradish by the spoonful. Spoonful. I didn't. Good Lord. Oh, throw in some uh, Chinese hot mustard, too. Gotta no, thank it. you. Thank of God. course not. It's too hot. I need red. Yeah, we don't need, <laughs> don't need that. I, I like pain with my food. Why? I'm having my period. Can I please have some ranch? Exactly. Fine. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. Finally, apple juice recall. Speaking of things I don't like uh, in Michigan, 25,000 cases of Martinelli's apple juice is being taken off the shelves in the Mitten State. The juice apparently has, quote, elevated levels of inorganic arsenic. Apparently, there are some acceptable levels of inorganic arsenic arsenic but these these levels were elevated elevated so that's wow. apparently an issue you know what i don't like about apple juice it's gross it makes me fart mm. uh, yeah. what doesn't at this point well seriously i i do yeah. i've been doing well on the fart so give me really you yeah i thought you you've had I've been let me good. ask you this what is your yeah because there was all you like your diet had consisted primarily of junk food post uh all your internal strife yeah a physical internal strife, yep. not your emotional internal strife. Uh, what, what, like, what, what now can you consume? I really I don't, think I've don't asked do you. well with large pieces of meat. They're still okay. pretty hard to, so like a steak, it's pretty tough. You can't eat steak? Um, I, burger, I try, what about a burger? It's not the easiest, but I can try it. Um, okay. I'm just getting by, you know, it's fine. Like a chicken salad sandwich. That's delightful. Okay. I like that. I, that's not bad. Yeah. That's a nice thing. Sports. Anything else? Oh, you. I thought you were going to add something. No, I said that's a nice thing. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Sports. Tigers were off. Cubs were off. So we have to pretend to care about the Chai Sox. Uh, they beat the former Indians 3-2. to two. That's sports. All right. It's Jeopardy for 1,200 today. This could wipe out everything that you did. You know, we're, we're not in the group, in the pro, in the uh business of losing gains here even though you know basically waffled to. all week um nobel prize nominations once again oh yay yep i'd be excited you can basically that. buy those things now well you get could. enough money you can buy a nobel prize okay well, let's do grease that. the wheels in 1962 jfk nominated this first lady from an earlier administration for the nobel peace prize i'm gonna go out it's I think it's Bess Truman. You do. Or maybe, is it, but yes. I know. Or, oh no, Eleanor Roosevelt. I'm, I'm sorry Eleanor we Roosevelt. have to go with your first answer. No, no. That's the way I Jeopardy know. works. I said, you said you do. You gave me a chance to backtrack. I so did I not. Said, Wait, no, it's, it's, it's Bess Truman. Or no, it's not Bess Truman. It's uh, Eleanor Roosevelt. Oh, uh, no, well, you're wrong. It was Eleanor, Eleanor Roosevelt, but your first answer is what we have to go with. No, I first of all, you mispronounced Eleanor I did Roosevelt's nothing of the name sort. right there. I did yes, nothing did. of the sort. I got it right. I got Listen, it correct. There's been all kinds of things you got wrong this week. Dude. Especially condiments. 58,000. Oh, Jesus. 
can't believe you're going to pull this. I wish I could do something about it, Dave. It's just not my rule book. I I would love to be your crutch for the rest of your life. Um, I would like you to enjoy your regular gummy later this afternoon. Sure. <laughs> Have a great weekend. We'll see you back. Oh, okay. <laughs> see ya. Happy Friday, Muskegon. Today will be fairly mild and clear, but we might see some showers early tomorrow morning. So let's take a look at your forecast brought to you by Trinity Health. Looking at our weather headlines, we will have some showers come through our area very early on Saturday morning, but after they pass through, we will clear up and stay fairly sunny all the way through Mother's Day. We are also looking at a bit of a warm up through next week as right now we are a bit below average for temperatures. On our future radar, we see a low pressure system coming through West Michigan. Around 2 in the morning is when that rain will start. It should be done by around 6, so for your morning commute, it should not be raining, but the ground will most likely be wet. For today, though, we will stay mostly dry. It'll be about 60 degrees and just partly sunny with a slight breeze out of the northwest, about 5 to 10 miles per hour. Tonight will cool down to about 48 degrees, still partly cloudy, and an even softer breeze out of the southwest, about 5 to 8 miles per hour. Across the county, high temperatures are in the very low 60s, and along the lakeshore, we're in the very high 50s. Now, this is quite below average for this time of year, but if we look at our extended forecast, there is a warm-up on the way. Saturday, we still do have those chances for some rain in the very early hours, but the high will only be about 59 degrees. As we move into Sunday, Mother's Day will be much warmer here, about 67 degrees, and we'll have a very small chance for some thunderstorms late, late on Sunday night. Monday, we have a small chance as well for some rain showers in the afternoon, but we will be quite a bit warmer than we are again on Saturday, around 66. Tuesday will clear up, be about 68, mostly sunny and we'll stay in the high 60s as we move through next week, hopefully seeing some more sunshine as well. That is all for your Friday forecast brought to you by Trinity Health. Thank you for sticking with me and for supporting me through my first week here at the Muskegon channel. I'm Tegan Schultz, and I hope you have a wonderful weekend.